You were talking about Cuban fighters. Yeah, they gotta embrace their blackness, man. If you over here, who you looking to rep represent you? Who you who you looking to represent you as your your your, your base, man? The base of your fan base. You know what I mean? Think of your fan base. It's gonna be us. It's gonna be Black Americans. You know they not Latinos, but they go under that card thing. That's what a lot of them consider themselves. And, and, and the Mexican fans, they, they look at him like, man, that dude's black. He's can cute, but he's black. So they got to, you know, although the hardcore Mexican fans, they, they love you, they love you. But come on, they got to, they, that's where they, they, they lack an appeal, man. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they got to learn the language, and they got to be more appealing to who they are, you know. And I, I think they, they fan base will, will expand. But they can't take their boxing from you, man. They, they hella five fighters, man. Yeah, they always have great Olympians. All the time, man. Mm -hmm. All the cats, man. They're real good. Mm -hmm. You know, they just gotta embrace who they are. You know what I mean? As black men. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you gotta take into account Mexicans and Puerto Ricans kind of kind of got America on landlock anyway. Yeah. So they're coming in third anyway. Exactly. You know, exactly. in terms of fan appeal from the Latino base. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But but they they not Latinos though. They're black men. <laughs> They're black. I personally met a Cuban, and he told me straight up. I asked him, I said, where you from, brother? He said, I'm from Cuba. He said, but no, I'm a brother though, I'm black. He said, a lot of my people don't like to say that they that they black, you get what I'm saying? He said, they like to say that they Latino. He said, nah, man, we black. He said, look at my hair, he had an afro. He said, look at my hair, he said, I'm black, man. He said, I can speak Spanish though, because I, you know, I, Came from Cuba. We, that's the language. Mm -hmm. so they, I'm a black man. Mm -hmm. So you know, that's that's they, they gotta embrace who they are. Point blank, Cuba. Mm. Speaking of blackness, Luis Ortiz and um, Deontay Wilder is coming late November. They say. Late November? Mm -hmm. So we got late August. So we got two months, three more months. Man, that's gonna be, gonna be a good one, man. Hopefully it'll be out here. I hope so, man. I want to go to that one this time, man. That was gonna be good, man. Yeah, that's gonna be a fun yeah. fight. That was gonna be good, man. Wilder gonna handle his business, man. Wilder gonna try to get him out early this time. Oh, for sure. He ain't gonna, he ain't gonna let that guy gain the momentum. Man. Then I, I believe he slowed down, man. Who, Ortiz? Ortiz, he slowed down. That, that Wilder fight did something to him, man. He can get up for Wilder though. He may have one more hurrah in him. He can get up for one moment. For one moment. That's I, it. That's, that's a better answer. Not a whole fight though, man. Mm -hmm. Because I, I don't I don't think he's you know physically uh, you know as far as physically fit enough to, to, to really uh, withstand you know the same energy that uh, Wilder's gonna bring. Mm -hmm. I don't think he can match that, you know. I don't know how, how old they got him, but I think he at least five years older than what they missed him. Oh, for sure. For sure. For sure. <laughs> you know? But, you know, take nothing from him. He's a great dude. Like, mm -hmm. He's he cool. I, I mean, yeah. in terms of in the ring and out the ring, he's pretty cool. Oh, no, no. He, he's a good person. You know, he, he can fight, man. He got a, he's a boxing type heavyweight. Like, mm -hmm. He's a boxer. Like, as a heavyweight, he got all the good the footwork, the combination punches. For four rounds, he kind of looks like Ali a little bit, you know? <laughs> For two rounds or something, whatever yeah, it is. Just a big Ali. Kind of like Anthony Sims a little bit, too, you know what I mean? Yeah, On his yeah, toes, you know? Yeah, he, he can do it all, man, you know? But I, I think when uh, Wilder knocked him out, it kind of... Oh, sure. It kind of brought him to a self-realization that, you know, maybe I'm the second, third best heavyweight like whatever hype he bought into him being the best or his or, or his, uh, his team put into him you know Deontay knocked that out of him uh -huh. you know because he didn't I, I would just tell him he, Deontay might finish him within six rounds uh -huh. you know because Deontay he learned from that uh, Fury fight uh -huh. just the way he handled Brazil yeah he was methodical he was patient Oh, he, it's funny, he was patient. If only went one around, it was, he was very patient. It looked good. It was, it was nice on the eyes, man. Mm -hmm. you know, 
I think because uh, he got hit with a right hand in that fight. Yeah, mm -hmm. he did. And he took it. Yeah. Relax. He kind of breathed a little bit. He didn't go all. And way. he reminded himself. It looked like he told himself, "Get back to the basics. It's gonna come." Exactly. And it came moments later. And it was devastating. That was it. That's oh. all he needed. If he do everything behind that that long ass hard stiff jab. The right hand gonna just be right there every time. It's gonna be easy for him, you know. I'm, I'm quite sure him and uh, Breeden, they and Kent just working on that. Mm -hmm. I can believe that. Just stand patient, working behind you one two. And now that he's seen, <laughs> gotta get that. <laughs> now that he's seen the effectiveness, effectiveness of uh, such a game plan, he gonna believe it more. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, he always had it, but now he know that, damn, I can, I can actually make the fight a lot easier than it has to be, and it can look good. Mm -hmm. He going within six rounds, I believe. You know, why, why make the fight a 12-round fight when you can save yourself six rounds? Sure. You know what I'm saying? And, mm -hmm. you know, get ready for the next opponent. Facts. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be good to, uh, yeah, I'm going to watch something to look forward to. Yeah. Definitely. Any last words? No, I appreciate the time, man. I appreciate y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm loving a lot of the comments, man. I appreciate the support. Appreciate the love. I see I'm uh, gaining a lot of Instagram followers, man. Freddie said he's going to make me famous. You're going to make famous, man. you got to be important. We're going to... I've seen it happen before. You know what I mean? And since you're my brother... You know, we got to share resources. I appreciate it, brother. All the time. It. All the time. Boxing is my, boxing is my wife, man. We, we, had a, uh, we had a little separation period. But I'm, I'm slowly falling back in love with it. Freddie ain't going to let me leave you this time. <laughs> <laughs> L underscore Supreme 88. L underscore Supreme 88. Thank you, Freddie. All the time. Thank you, everybody.